Testimony at the R. Kelly trial is underway right now. He's already been convicted of sex crimes in New York and sentenced to 30 years. Now facing similar charges right here in Chicago. Julian Cruz live at the Dirksen Federal Building with the very latest. Julian. Well, Patrick, key testimony underway at this hour. A witness described by the government as minor one on the stand. So much of the government's case hinging on the testimony of young women who say that they were victimized, according to prosecutors, by R. Kelly and a pair of his associates. Retired CPD detective Daniel Everett on the stand for a second day under cross-examination. Everett describing his first encounter with a teenager and her parents on December of 2000. An anonymous phone call leading investigators to the teen who for the purposes of the federal trial in Chicago assigned the pseudonym of Jane to protect her identity. Jane's mother and father present for that initial meeting, Everett says, under cross-examination. Both parents and Jane herself, according to Everett, denying any victimization or inappropriate relationship with Kelly. Jane, widely believed to be the so-called star witness in Kelly's Cook County child pornography trial in 2008, the teen at the 11th hour refusing to testify against Kelly, who was later acquitted. The R&B recording artist facing federal charges in Chicago, along with two alleged co-defendants, Kelly employee Milton Brown and business manager Daryl McDavid, all three men accused of trying to bribe witnesses to rig the outcome of the Cook County trial. Lawyers for the co-defendants arguing that their clients believe the allegations against Kelly were bogus. David was doing his job, asserts McDavid defense attorney Vadim Glozman. He had no reason reason to believe any actions he took were illegal at the time they occurred. Now, the owner of a Lakeview property once owned by R. Kelly testified, and he said he was surprised when he found a button in the master bedroom that controlled the door to the bedroom. No one could get in and out without depressing that button. And where the smoke detector should be, the witness says that he found tiny video cameras. At the Dirksen Federal Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News.